So, right, this video is going to be very, very quick. Um, right, so what we're going to do is show you how to do a quick report with a bit of grouping. Now, what I've got is a query already, and that's going to be my basis for my report. Now, the query is basically I've got patient name from patient, address from patient, but whether it's been paid, that comes from appointment, and then I've got description from treatment and a cost and if I run that as you saw earlier it, what it will do is it will get all that information together does that actually have anything from work done because that's just really a link field and it automatically links up so that's going to be the basis for my query uh, report now so what I'm going to do is go to create report wizard and then select my query now there's only one query so it's in there now what I don't want is is cost is paid that's already the, the query is already set up so it only displays the ones that haven't paid so I don't really want to see that and it, it just makes the report a little bit messy the next that's fine as it is the next one and then we want to add some grouping and the reason for that is so we can actually get some totals so we'll click next again pretty done now I would do it, it really spaces out the report so I'll do landscape for you and then okay we could rename that as well i'm not going to bother so there, there's a report so it looks all right actually we we want to change this so it looks more like a letter maybe and so a threatening letter to the person and we can change that later but over here it'd be nice if we had like you, you owe a total of 100 pounds for instance and it could automatically work that out so that's what we're going to get it to do now now if i'm going to go to design view now what i have to do is right click um and go to sorting and grouping and you get this thing down the bottom now I've already got a, a header here, a patient name header, and, and that's what I needed. I needed that. And, and what I need to do here is click on more. And then what I want to do, it says um, with um, with the headers without a footer section. Now I actually want a footer because that's where the I'm going to put the total. So I'm going to click with a footer section. And now I get this bit down here. So what I'm going to do is add a text box, which is there. And in the footer, I'm just going to put that. Now this is going to be sort of total cost, something like that. Right. So, and all I've got to do here is make this now. Now there's a function called sum open bracket cost now it should if I've got everything right it should sort it out now put it in square brackets and capitalize sum there so you know it's kind of worked now I could make that a bit smaller and I could put fancy stuff in there as well but like lines and things but notice now it says total cost 200 uh, I could use the label there as well probably um, and I'd want to format that so it looks like currency but you can see it's actually not that difficult to do okay that's it